Alright guys, um, my last, well, I made a video before and I took it off about how to fix your NAT configuration on your, uh, for your Xbox 360. Well, um, I kind of made a mistake, so, but this is the actual way on how to do it. So first, open up, you know, an internet, Mozilla, Firefox, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just gotta, my computer's a little slow, so, just let it open up. Okay, once you have that open, go up to the search 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 bar and uh type in I don't know if you can see very well, but uh www dot router login dot net. And then it's this little little thing's gonna pop up here. Same with the password and stuff is. Um username if you already haven't made a password or something, it would be admin, A D M I N, and then the password would be password. Okay, so just click OK when you're done typing that in. Once you get here, uh what you'll do is now bef before you do with this you're gonna all the devices that use internet in your house. You're gonna want to have them connected to your internet. All right, and once you have like your Xbox turned on, connected to the internet, your other laptop turned on, anything that's wireless and connects to your internet, you make sure those are on, connected to the internet. Then go down. It's under maintenance right here. Maintenance, and it's uh, attached devices. Click on that. Alright, now I only have two things attached right now. My Xbox and my laptop. And you'll see how it has the IP address and the MAC address, okay? What you'll want to do is um, go down to uh, Advanced Wireless Settings. Click on Wireless Settings. And it'll pop up now down here to say setup access list. You want to click on that. Now I already did it, but what you'll do is hit add. And now the things that are already connected to your internet, you'll just um, click you know, the little bu bubble that's there. And then hit add. And then the other one click that one when you're done with the first one and then click add again and then when you're done with that it'll, go, it'll take you back and it'll say no it'll say all those are now in your access list now my last video I forgot to show you guys that in order for it to work you have to see this little box up here it says turn access control on you want to make sure that's checked if it's not, if the box isn't, ha, doesn't have a little green check mark in it, so uh, click it if it doesn't, and make sure there's a green little check mark there. Once there's one there, it'll just hit apply, and it'll just update your settings. Now, I have my Xbox on right now, so if, I'm just going to show you this for you for right now that it works. So what I'll do is I'll go to Test Xbox Live Connection. Now we'll just watch.
There you go. Xbox Live is up and running. No problems. Alright, um, if you have any questions, just send me uh, a message or something and I'll uh, get back to you on it. Alright, see so you guys. Hope this helps.